objective of the National Mission on Libraries is to improve the infrastructure and systems of all public libraries in India. The scheme aims to upgrade and modernize public library services through user-friendly, affordable technology and enrich resources through a comprehensive database of information. We're very honored on this occasion with the presence of the Honorable President of India, Sri Prana Mukherjee, and we warmly welcome him. I request the Secretary of Culture, Sri Ravinder Singh, to present a formal welcome address. Honorable Sri Prana Mukherjee, President of India, Honorable Minister of Culture, Madam Chandresh Kumari Katoj, Professor Deepak Painter, Chairman National Mission on Libraries, mm. Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Members of the Media, and Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Culture, it is my proud privilege to extend a very warm welcome to the Honorable President of India, Sri Pranav Mukherjee, who has very kindly consented to be the Chief Guest on the occasion of the launch of the National Mission on Libraries, being organized by the Ministry of Culture. The Honorable President has always taken keen interest in cultural activities. Most recently, he successfully steered the centenary commemorations of both Guru, Guru De Rabindranath Tagore and Swami Vivekananda as chairperson of the National Implementation Committee. We are also witnessing a cultural rejuvenation in the Rashtrapati Bhavan under his stewardship. Today we are launching the logo, the website and the guidelines of the National Mission on Libraries, which aim to address all the information and learning needs of our youth, senior citizens and the citizens of our country. We are also grateful to the President of India for being part of this most noble initiative. The National Mission on Libraries has been conceptualized based on the recommendations of the National Knowledge Commission on Development of Library and Information Science Sector in its report to the nation, which was accepted by the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Mahatma Gandhi, father of our nation, once said that libraries should contain such books which could help the readers to become men. In this modern world, the libraries have become much more an effective tool for national transformation. The library and information services are instrumental in transforming an unequal society into an egalitarian, progressive, open and knowledge-based society. It empowers the people and particularly the youth with information in order to create a society which respects humanity and rise above the feelings of hatred, violence and discrimination and to contribute in the development of a strong and vibrant nation. Over the years, it has been widely felt that there is an urgent need for reform in the libraries and information services sector. The National Mission on Libraries, chaired by Professor Deepak Pento and ably guided by a host of academics and library experts among others, intends to revamp the library and information services through education and training of library personnel, assessing staff of libraries, preparing a national census of all libraries and modernizing library management and pr promoting information communication technology applications in all libraries. At the same time, the enormous reservoir of knowledge available in libraries will be made easily available to society by improving the access mechanism. In today's context, it is possible to use technology into one seamless large library. The National Mission on Libraries envisages creation of a national virtual library to provide a wide public access at local, national and global levels to all available knowledge resources through open source platforms in multilingual environments. Distinguished dignitaries, I would like to state that all this would be achieved without abrogating the existing responsibility of the states towards libraries. We hope to encourage training programs and widen cooperation with experts to upgrade standards and techniques in this digital age. I do hope that the efforts of the mission will dovetail with the commendable work in this regard already underway in the states. Once again, I heartily welcome the Honorable President to this function to honor the mission on libraries. I also express our deep gratitude to all of you for your kind presence here on this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'd now like to request the Honourable Minister for Culture, Srimati Chandresh Kumari Kadoj, to formally welcome 
the President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, with a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Honorable President, Minister of Culture, Minister of Culture from Nagaland, Mr. Singh, Mr. Srinivas, my colleagues of the National Mission on Libraries, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The National Knowledge Commission was set up in the year 2006 by Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh to tap into the enormous knowledge available in our country and globally so that India could confidently face the challenges of the 21st century. NKC, as you all know, was headed by Mr. Sam Petroda and some very leading intellectuals of our country are also members of NKC. NKC submitted its final report in 2009 and made some very pertinent recommendations on libraries. The main ones were as following. Set up a national mission on libraries, prepare a national census of all libraries, revamp LIS education, modernize library management, greater community participation, promote ICT applications in all the libraries. In March 2012, national mission on libraries was set up and I was asked to chair the mission. I want to thank the Ministry of Culture and members of NML for their cooperation, suggestions, enthusiasm in preparing a plan and developing documents for submission to the Expenditure Finance Committee. In October 2013, EFC cleared a budget of rupees 400 crore for the following activities. Setting up a National Virtual Library of India, upgrading of state and district libraries throughout the country, a sample survey of libraries to find current limitations and readers' requirements and capacity building for future ICT-based libraries. We have therefore tried to cover as many of the original recommendations as was possible. The committee strongly feels that the most innovative and creative aspect of the program is setting up of a National Virtual Library of India. We propose that NVLI should contain digital record of all the manuscripts, documents related to hit Indian history, including modern India, art and culture, and these should be made available in India and globally through the virtual library. When I say all the documents, I mean all that is available in all the languages of India from all the regions of India. These materials should be supported by a world-class search engine. The state level libraries that will receive special grants under the upgradation program of the mission will help in procuring and digitizing material available from different regions of our vast country. Despite what is, besides what is available to the Ministry of Culture, NBLI should also host all the archival material that is held by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. We must start with training immediately and departments of library science in all of our universities should be the focus of our training program. The amount of funding does not allow us to reach every community library, but we have an innovative suggestion and solution for that. Let the schools be knowledge spreaders, both for children and for adults in a village or a small town. The school libraries therefore can serve as community libraries, helping the youth, women, everyone in that small village and town. For this we need active participation of MHRD. Sir, as you will see, we require cooperation from at least two ministries besides the Ministry of Culture and these are Ministries of Information and Broadcasting and MHRD. Only such a co cooperation will allow us to consolidate and distribute our inherited knowledge, art and culture to all the citizens. We also hope that the country will soon have a robust IT backbone. As we go along, we can organize new knowledge with the cooperation of the Ministries of Science and Technology, Health, Agriculture and Environment. Given that the Prime Minister and the President of the country are so keen on the mission, and given the importance of the project for the country, all of us must work hard and work across ministerial and subject boundaries. Many nations have already developed their virtual libraries. We will have to run like a sprinter to catch up and like a marathon runner to constantly improve and update. 
Sir, I thank you profusely for inaugurating the activities of the mission today and for your generous encouragement. Thank you. The logo of the National Mission on Libraries takes its inspiration from the seal of Nalanda Mahavihara, probably the largest seat of learning in ancient India. The image is of a wheel flanked by two deer and is recurrent in ancient Indian culture. It relates to the first discourse of Buddha, which was delivered in the Deer Park at Sarnath. I now request the President of India, Sri Prana Mukherjee, to formally launch this logo, which combines the design of the Nalanda seal with the votive plaques found in Rajgir and Nalanda and gives it a unique character. The website of the National Mission on Libraries provides information about the mission, provides facility for registration of libraries, has the digital content of libraries, and also gives information on future projects of the mission. May I now request the President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, to formally launch the website by pressing the button. The National Mission on Libraries has brought out a booklet with guidelines on the upgradation of libraries providing services to the public.
the recognition of the pivotal role of libraries and the rec uh, recommendation of the National Knowledge Commission on the Min and the, to the Ministry of the Ministry of Culture has set up a national mission on libraries to ensure sustained attention to the development of libraries. The mission has identified four core areas. Creation of a national virtual library of India, setting up a national mission of libraries, um, modern, li uh, modern libraries, uh, 30, 30, uh, 35 state central libraries, 35 district libraries, 6 libraries under the cultural ministry will be developed. Quantitative and qualitative survey of libraries. The capacity building of revamping um, public library systems and services. For all these activities, the government of India has allocated 400 crores to be used in the next three years. The Ministry of Culture is, in a, is a facilitator in this mammoth exercise. The goal of the National Commission on Libraries cannot and will not be accomplished without any act, active participation of the different states and union territories. I take this opportunity to urge every partner to extend their support and cooperation for effective and time-bound implementation of this project. <coughs> to underpin national progress and to respond to global challenges more strongly than ever before, India needs a knowledge-oriented paradigm of development to give its people and institutions competitive advantage in all fields of knowledge. The National Mission of Libraries create such opportunities for the youth and the people of India and contribute towards building a more informed and enlightened India with activities of the collaboration 